public transportation could soon be expanding throughout the Roanoke Valley. The Roanoke Valley Allegheny Regional Commission is working on a plan to get more routes to more places. WSOS 10's Bethany T joins us. She's live in downtown Roanoke tonight. So, Bethany, uh, when can local people weigh in on this plan? Hi, Don. The Regional Commission is working to have a first draft out by the end of this month. It will then go up for public comment. But in the meantime, a lot of residents have already voiced their opinions and had an impact on the initial recommendations. I just hope that they have buses on Sundays and I hope that they run longer. Valley Metro riders want more options in more places. They need to go out to the county. They really, really, really need to go out to the county. That's exactly what the Roanoke Valley Allegheny Regional Commission aims to do in the next several years. Easily, Roanoke County, uh, uh, always we're, we're getting requests about more services in the Roanoke County, Botetourt County, especially with some of the new economic uh, development. More routes reaching farther into the region will cost money. The commission doesn't yet know how much or who is going to pay. Just the uh, city of Roanoke and the town of Benton are paying into Valley Metro, which is a big service provider. We really need these same people that were part of that study to come to the table and decide what they can pay. Roanoke City gives $1.8 million a year to the transit system. So far in 2016, ridership is down 5.4% from last year. And that makes it even harder uh, to figure out you know, what to do next. I mean, we probably do need more routes, but we got to find those routes that are going to be used. Both council and commission members are hopeful that an improved transportation system will attract younger people to the Roanoke Valley. They also believe it will boost Amtrak use, which is set to arrive next year.